Hey all, Carpet Bagger here coming to you live from the south, more specifically Mammoth Cave National Park here in Cave City, Kentucky. Now this is what puts the cave in Cave City. And like a lot of uh, great tourist areas, there is some sort of natural attraction that that all the tourist attractions are built around. And the Smoky Mountains, people come to see the mountains and then stay for the tourist attractions. Niagara Falls, they come to see the falls and then stay for the wacky tourist attractions. Here, it is the cave that is the draw that feel that fuels the tourist attractions. And I've been to Cave City quite a few times and I've never gone in this cave. Um, cave tours you know, you know, are kind of touch and go with me. I like, um, I like cave tours that are a little unique. There's something a little different about them. Some cave tours may be a little, you know, boring because it's just rocks. But um, I think this is worth checking out and I'm gonna head in and go on my very first Mammoth Cave tour. Follow me. Never touch a bat. That's actually really, really sound advice. There is a Kentucky shrimp. They're not delicious because <laughs> they're too small. That's a penny. All right, here's another brand new experience for me. I'm going to drink water out of a box. Good, clean, pretty good. A slight boxiness to it, but otherwise, good water. Evacuation from the cave for medical attention may take several hours. There is a lot of people on this cave tour. No weapons, tobacco, e-cigarettes, vapes, food, or... How will I defend against cave pirates? All right, headed down the staircase in to the gaping maw of Mammoth Cave. Somewhat dark in here. Generally this area. It's a random World War I monument down here in the cave. <laughs> One, close your eyes. Two. Nope, I'm pushing the wrong one. <laughs> That's not a lecture, Kelly. <laughs> All right, number three, open your eyes. <laughs> Greatest discovery of Mammoth Cave. Any questions before we move on? What's Our the black on the ceiling? Oh, good question. This black on the ceiling uh, is a mineral crust. Apparently the structure is called the Giant's Coffin. Spooky. Tons of old timey graffiti on it. This is 1880s. 1839 I see down there. Oh look at that. People like kind of duck while they walk down the stairs. That's, that's just bad cave design. Oh my gosh. like hunch walk through half the cave. Gonna have a crick in my neck by the end of the tour. This cave is absolutely riddled with old timey graffiti. And this here is what they refer to as the bottomless pit. Very low ceiling here. This is fat man's misery right here. Yes, I'm a little miserable, thanks for asking. This is very claustrophobic and uncomfortable. Yeah, it's a very narrow pathway right here. Yeah, they're trying to fit to these little ruts. It's not easy. Kind of ridiculous. This is pretty much the most claustrophobic cave I've ever come across. It doesn't help that there's about 200 people crammed in here with me. I'm not even sure what's going on up here. People are like climbing and squatting at the same time. Yes, be careful. Ridiculous. Okay, you gotta be careful here. This is completely absurd. 
I am like, oh my gosh. You will practically have to walk on your knees here. The cave's opened back up. We got some more old timey graffiti. It says Andrum's Sax Horn Band, 1855. And then we gotta go up that staircase. Okay, the camera is fogging up pretty bad. After being in a 54 degree cave for two hours, it's having trouble adjusting to the uh, to the steamy weather out here. So that was Mammoth Cave, and like I said, I'm not a huge cave guy. Um, so take that for what you will. Um, it, it, you know, there's, there's, this is just one tour that I went on. There's apparently several different types of tours. There's apparently over 400 miles of cave, which is completely insane. They'll actually take you to different entrances off site here. But um, yeah, there's a cool, cool little cave tour. Um, the most unique part was the uh, what's it, Fat Man's Misery, where you're like literally just like crawling like a worm through the tunnels. It's really claustrophobic and really, but really unique experience. Um, you know, because it is a national park, they, they don't put a lot of the hoopla that some of the private caves do. No fancy colors, no elves. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I mean, if caves are your thing, I, th I think you'd like this. But it, to me, uh, there's maybe not enough to, um, not enough jazz to to, to spice it up. But uh, you know, take it take it for what you will. Box water may be better, but it does not fit very well into a cup holder. Almost a square peg in a round hole, if you will. Now there are literally baby deer nursing in the middle of the road. Oh gosh, Call, uh, slow down, slow down. Just let them finish up. Let the little ones... Careful! There you go. Alright, I think we're good. a turkey that won't get out of the road. Come on. Oh, come on turkeys. Coming through. Here's something pretty unique. This road here actually dead ends into the river. And there's this one vehicle ferry that takes things across. Now that is a feat. There. Huh. Trucks getting on the ferry. Ooh, there they go. You can see there's like wires running up there that pull the ferry. When in Rome, right? Let's uh. Let's ride the ferry. The ferry is coming. Coming up to the shore. <laughs> it's still moving. Uh, let's see if we can get on here all right. All right, it says stop engine, set park brake, stay in vehicle. Let's see, there's actually a car on the ferry behind us. Dude, I don't know. Oh my gosh. This is a nauseating feeling. This river's rushing. It's really full. You can feel the car moving. Very, very strange <laughs> sensation. Well, there's life jackets. Is there one big enough for my car? <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. Didn't really have any reason to cross uh, the river. I don't even think there's anything on this side of the river. All these kids get their canoes out of the way of my car. Here we go. So yep, took the ferry, across the river, drove down the road, turned around, 
took the ferry back. That's not an effective way to use a ferry, I know. Some more deer. All right, keep your little babies out of the road. Well, now that uh, we've seen what's natural and beautiful out of cave country, maybe we should uh, drive through Cave City and see what's unnatural and how the attractions are doing. Here's Big Mike's Mystery House. I'll actually put a link in the description where you can check out the video I did with Anna in Big Mike's. Of course, you can't stop at Big Mike's without saying hello to Big Mo the Moasaurus. But whatever you do, don't climb on him. I don't know, maybe I should have gone on the Outlaw Cave Tours. That looks like more of an adventure. Don't be mistaken, that's not a school bus. That is a cool bus, and it's on its way to circus school. Now this here used to be the site of the Golgotha Golf, which was a Bible-themed mini-golf. They built a big blue house. I don't know what's in there. There's a little stick figure that says ha under it. Now, there used to be a little tourist area called Huckleberry Hill over here but it has been converted into Raven, Raven's Cross Haunted Village. It used to be a little purple like European village here, but they've painted it black and turned it into a little dystopian area. I actually did a video on the abandoned uh, Huckleberry Hill. Uh, I'll put that link in the description as well. Oh my gosh, it's the devil. Oh man, we got a plague doctor right there. Parents responsible for children? Well, that's kind of just a general statement. Parents are responsible for children. Yeah, this has been seriously spookified. My goodness. What's in there? Nothing. It's like a little fire there. May have had like a skeleton being burned to death. These, these boxes are unlocked. I wonder what's inside. No big deal, just hanging out here next to the well, next to a wheelbarrow full of corpses. A little peek in the window here. This appears to be some sort of murder shed. You can see the pig's head and then you know, butchered humans it looks like. Ugh, that's kind of, it's kind of gross. A lot of corpses, a lot of corpses. All right, we got some bones and what are these it's like big creepy scarecrows bet this place is spooky when it's open i wonder what's in this coffin Whew. close call so it looks to be a seasonal attraction might be interesting to check out if I happen to find myself here in the right season. Now this building here right next door is what used to be the Mammoth Cave Wax Museum, but it's been closed down for some time. Yeah, there's Batman and Robin. Apparently they have Zorb Ball rides uh, behind the Wax Museum. And if you don't know what Zorbs are, they're like giant plastic human hamster balls. It says dry or wet. They can either fill them with water or put them dry, and then they just like put you in a big ball and roll you down a hill. It looks like the Mammoth Cave Wildlife Museum is still in operation. Definitely worth uh, your time to stop by there. So it looks like the museum will be reopening as Kentucky Anna Jones International Museum of Rare Artifacts and Exhibits. That's compelling. I'd love to check that out when it opens. Looks like the bumper boats and the Redneck Gulf are still closed down. And of course, Dinosaur World, where the carpetbagger hiss was invented. It's actually a, a major attraction that has reopened here in Cave City. Unfortunately, um, because of the massive storm today, they, they decided to close early and I didn't get a chance to check it out. So, hoping that we get to check that out tomorrow. Um, but for now, um, 
please, uh, if you like these videos, check down in the description. There's an interactive map that will show you all the places I've been, and you can make recommendations of places you feel I need to go. Also, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, I have a Patreon. If you donate at least $3 a month, I will send you postcards one out and about on my journeys. I have a t-shirt shop as well. Uh, but for now, this one's in the bag.